Whoa, this place is cool. Didn't I tell you? So let's go see a play. We can't. Why not? There's no flag flying. What does no flag mean? It means there's no play. If there was a play, there would be a red, black, or white flag flying out front. No blue? I, I like blue. No blue. The color indicates the type of story. Black is for tragedy, red is for a history, and... What's white for? White was for comedy. Cool. I like comedy. So if we can't see a play, why are we here? To tour the Globe Theater. Uh-huh. So we've come to a theater to not see a play. Yes, that's exactly why we're here. It is kind of cool looking. It's like... Circular? Yeah, and round. A big round circle. I wonder why it's round. All the world's a stage. All the who's a what? Like the name of the theater. It's called The Globe. And Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Not everything. N not this street. Some places are just like houses or amusement parks or Walmarts or firehouses. Oh, and the malt shop. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? Wow. It's more amazing than I imagined. Hey! What are you doing up there? Just looking. The stage is huge. It's about 40 or 50 feet wide. <laughs> and the audience was on both sides of the stage, too? Yeah, they were. It's called the thrust stage. A uh, thrust stage. Yes, a thrust stage has people on three sides. It's not like any stage I've ever seen. There are still thrust stages, but we're more used to a proscenium design. With people on one side. Exactly. This is kind of cool. So, um, are you supposed to be up there? I don't know. Are you supposed to be down there? In the pit? What'd you call me? No, that's where I'm standing. The pit? Yeah, the pit yard. This is where the groundlings used to be. Okay, now you're just making words up. Groundlings? Yeah, that's made up. No, it's not. It's the same as stinkards. Huh? Or penny stinkers. Or bingledings. Bingledings? You're not the only one who can make up words, you know. I'm not making up words. Back in Shakespeare's day, for very little money, people could pay one pence to stand in the yard and watch the play. They could? They could. And they were called groundlings. For a pence? You think they'll let me pay that at the movies? Don't forget, they had to stand the whole time. The whole time, huh? Would that include popcorn? For another pence, people could move to the gallows. What is that? The seating located here and here. So the more you pay, the higher you sit. That's right. When are they going to finish? Finish what? The building. They did finish. This is the building. Uh, yeah, right. Without a roof. Yes, without a roof. I'm not an idiot. Theaters have roofs. Not in 1599. Oh, <laughs> like they didn't have rain and snow in 1599. Of course they did. But what they didn't have was electricity. <gasps> oh, so no Wi-Fi. No. I mean, well, yeah, they didn't have Wi-Fi, but they didn't have lighting. Actually, they did. No, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. How could they have lighting? I just told you they didn't have electricity. <laughs> But they did have the sun. Okay. Okay, yeah, they had light. Sure they did. And that's why there's no ceiling. So the sunlight could get in. Sheesh. Keep up, will ya? I knew that. I mean, I was trying to explain it to you. I... Oh, oh never mind. Anyway, that's why performances were during the day. Because at night, it's dark, obviously. And... Why they had to use candles and torches to indicate scenes were supposed to be at night. That makes sense, since you can't turn off the sun. Are you okay? Where are you? I told you they hadn't finished this place. There's a big hole in the floor. Oh, there you are. You fell down the trap door. Trap is right. What are they doing putting a hole right in the middle of the stage? They used it for characters to enter from the hell. The uh, what'd you say now? Look, see the ceiling above the stage? Ooh, that's pretty. The ceiling under the roof was called the heavens. Oh, I get it. And the trap door led to... Right. Below the stage was hell. Oh, you said it. I didn't. Yes, I did. That's what it was called. All I know is that is a weird place for a dressing room.
They didn't get dressed down there. They got dressed over here. This is the tiring room. Of course they were tired. It was like crazy hard to be an actor back then. They even had traps to fall in. That's not the half of it. They had to compete with the weather, rowdy audiences, and even having food thrown at them. Could they eat it? The food was rotten. Uh, how rotten? I am like really hungry. I'm not gonna dignify that with an answer. Fair enough. They dressed in here, huh? Yes, it's what we would call a green room today. And above the heavens is where there were musicians and storage. What are these doors? Is this another dressing room? No, those are the stage doors where people would enter. What about up there? The balcony. Yeah. That was used as an additional acting scene, or the balcony scene in Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I see. It is weird to think. They did theater here years ago. That must have been like when my grandpa was alive. It was a little bit longer ago than that. My great-grandfather? The Globe Theater opened 208 years before Beethoven first performed his Symphony No. 5. What? Seriously? Beethoven lived like forever ago. Seriously. And 304 years before Orville and Wilbur Wright made their famous flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. That was a long time ago. More than four centuries ago. Four centuries? That was like the, the 1600s. Actually, it opened in 1599. So this building is like crazy old. Not this building. Um, yeah, it opened in 1599. No, this is a replica. A replica? Why did they tear down the first one? Actually, the first one burned down in 1613. It did? Yes. The globe went up in flames when a cannon set off during a performance of Henry VIII misfired, igniting the wooden beams and thatching. The beams? And thatching. What's a thatching? Thatching is a way of making a roof from dry vegetation. That's probably flammable! Well, yeah. That's why it burned down. Oh my down. gosh, you think that's why it burned down? Sure. It's a possibility. I wonder if any historians have thought of that. Oh no, I'm sure you're the first. Hmm. So the next time the flag flies, we should come see a play here. That'd be fun. Anyway, I hope you learned a lot today. I learned a lot. I'm glad. Then my work here is done. Is it now? I hope the next flag to fly is white. Because you like comedies. That's right. See, you did learn something. <sighs> what fool will this mortal be? What's that? I said... We soon will see. We sure will.